All right, I'm going to try something a little risky. I'm going to take the horse off the uh, base so that I can reach underneath because this board in the way is going to cause a lot of problems me trying to work underneath the horse. So I'm going to mark where the uh, legs are attached. This is where this little angle bit holder comes in handy because it'd be hard for me to get my drill underneath the horse. Screw. It's gonna get scary. There we go. It's a good thing it's a good armature. Try to get this a little closer to where I'm uh, sculpting. A little easier to get to. This is why you never throw away packing that comes in uh, boxes. You never know when you're going to need something like this. drop this uh, and it kind of bent that leg out of point, point I mean out of uh, whack but I was able to fix it easily so all right I'm gonna come back down later on this afternoon and get to work on this I'm gonna stick another piece of foam underneath the head of the horse so it's not rocking around like that I think you can see why I did this. You can see the huge hole there and the incomplete belly here. I've got a lot of repairing to do uh, before I can call this horse done and uh, this is part of it. So I'll do that this afternoon while my clay is softening up and it's starting to get warm in the studio. And uh, I uh, took a shower this morning and now I'm going to go upstairs, get out of my robe, and get dressed, and get on with my life. <laughs>
I got things to do before I can come down here and start working. So it's going to be a fun day. I was thinking about what I was going to do overnight, and actually over the weekend, and uh, this is the only solution I came up with that I have to do this. All right, it's day two. I had to go to Bet Bozeman yesterday afternoon, so I couldn't continue this. And I'm back here this afternoon. The next day, this is Tuesday, to work on this. Now that I got the uh, clay on its side, it's going to make it a lot easier to work on it. Well, on this part of it, anyway. Okay, there are going to be some things you're not going to be able to see because my hand's going to be in the way, but I'll do the best I can today. This is uh, <clears throat> what you might call the pectoral muscle of the uh, horse, the chest muscle, and uh, the kick connects exactly where it would connect if it was your arm. If you think about things like that, you can start picturing how to uh, do the muscles themselves. Now at some point I'm going to have to turn the horse over on the other side of it and uh, work on the other side of the horse underside because it's going to be hard to reach up under here and see what I'm doing okay okay I've turned it over and uh, I'll be working on his left side of his chest. As you probably guessed by now, it's going to be a female horse. Okay, now's a good time to work under the horse's jaw and get that sculpted in.
it's time to put it back on the board. is just about where I need it to be and uh, I'm glad I did what I did it wasn't easy to do because it's never easy to, to take things apart and hopefully have them go back together properly there's been some damage to the legs and I'm gonna have to repair that but that's no big problem so anyway, I'll pick this up tomorrow and uh, get it to where I want it to get. And then I'll start putting the figure on. I'll put her on first and then I'll put him on. And then I'll fill in the base. I don't know exactly where I'm going to put him yet on this piece. But uh, I'm happy with uh, what's going on here. And I was... Just delighted as all get out to see how balanced the bottom of his belly was. I didn't have more on one side and less on the other. So, that worked out well. Alright everybody, I'll see you uh, next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.